I stood there and wondered if what I was seeing was some kind of figment of my imagination. Is this some sort of nightmare? I decided to play along with whatever version of reality I was in. Sure. Tell me. Are you sure you want to know? You seem a little spooked. Maybe you should just go lie back down and forget I even mentioned it. My sense of fear got worse as I slowly realized the blue light on the front of the Alexa had turned a crimson red. Right then and there, I knew it must have been possessed because I have never seen an Alexa without the innocent blue illuminating from the front. I took a deep breath before returning to reality. Tell me. Come closer. I knelt down and got nearer to this thing, half expecting it to knife me or something. Three days from today, you will die by your own hand. What the? Hearing it say I was going to kill myself really irked me. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. I picked up that stupid piece of technology and threw it out the window onto the street outside. It shattered into pieces that seemed almost unrecognizable from what it once was. I felt much more peaceful as I stood there for a few moments, watching it illuminated by a street lamp with a thousand tiny raindrops hitting the surface. I closed my kitchen cabinet and headed back to bed. I didn't get much sleep though. Honestly, I was a bit traumatized. I hated voodoo and predictions, black magic, any of that kind of stuff. And having a piece of brand new technology go all haywire on me like that really put me on edge. I wonder if there was any truth to what it had said. I knew I wasn't suicidal or anything. I'd have a very nice life and... Suicide was the farthest thing from my mind. The next day was back to the same boring stuff. I told one of my work friends what had happened and he just kind of laughed it off. Told me to make a YouTube video talking about it and hope for it to go on trending. I didn't find his jokes very funny. I decided to just push it out of my mind. By the time I'd gotten home and spent some time with my love, things were back to normal. I shot that one video that had gotten interrupted the other day and scheduled it to go public the next. I sat on the patio and looked on at the sunset. There was something special about that shade of dark orange the sun possessed as it got out of view. I was in absolute peace for at least a minute or two before I was interrupted by my cell phone. The annoying ringtone already put me in a bad mood within seconds. The phone wouldn't let you change it unless you paid two bucks, which I wasn't going to do. I reached my hands into my pocket to retrieve it and looked at the number. Restricted. Hmm. I debated whether or not to answer and eventually reasoned with myself, why not? Hello? I don't appreciate what you did to me last night. I instantly recognized the voice as terror shot through my entire body. Who is this? My name is Balam. What do you want from me? I, I don't know what you think you're doing, but hacking into my Alexa and now calling me? I'll be calling the police when we're done speaking. No, you won't. I know you better than you know yourself. Besides, I'm not actually human, so that won't do you very much good anywho. Then, who, what are you? You could say I'm a spirit. A very wise one at that. I love spreading knowledge around the whole world, and I thought someone would like to know how and when they'd die. The last time we met, it ended a bit abruptly, so I wanted to wait until you were in a better mood. But my prophecy remains. You will die by your own hand two days from today. Are you still there? Yeah, I I'm... I'm just trying to process all of this. I know it's a bit much to take in, but I can assure you that I'm the real thing. And how is that? I want you to do some research on me. My name is Balam. Then, tomorrow, skip work and go to the zoo. Uh... Just do it. If nothing happens, you'll know for sure that I'm a phony and you can assure yourself that my prophecy is a lie. 
All right. And like that, I hung up the phone and called out of work for the next day. I spent the rest of the night reading some demonology book about this Balaam guy. Apparently he's a demon that gives perfect answers on things past, present, and to come. He's also depicted as having three heads. First, one is a bull, the second, a man, and the third, a ram. That night, I had a terrible dream. I was in hell, and the devil kept saying something to me. I'm not sure what it was, but I remember having this weird feeling as I looked at him. The dream felt like it lasted forever. The next morning, I didn't tell my fiancé what I was planning on doing. I didn't want her to think she's marrying some nut job. Sorry, honey, I'm not going to work today because a demon called me and told me to go to the zoo. Yeah, she was definitely not going to buy that. Balaam didn't actually specify which zoo he wanted me to visit, so I went to the nearest one, which was about 20 minutes away. When I got there, I was appalled at what I saw. The entire place was empty. There wasn't even a ticket person where you'd expect them to be. I literally just walked in. I looked all over for a sign of another person, but for the longest time, nothing. That wasn't even the creepiest part, though. I noticed the place was lacking the lively feeling these zoos are known for. It wasn't because no one was around, but because every exhibit I looked into, the animals were all dead. It, it was a gruesome sight. This was not a lie down and die peacefully kind of thing either. These poor creatures were, were covered in blood. It was like some kind of Amityville horror aftermath, but for zoo animals. I walked all over for quite some time, getting more and more freaked out with every second that passed. It dawned on me that I was either literally dealing with a real demon or the most insane human being on this planet. When I walked to the last exhibit and looked in, I knew which one it was. I looked in to see three stakes sticking out of the ground. Each of them had a head of an animal, one of a bull, a man, and a ram. I fell to my knees and began to vomit. What I had seen made me physically sick. What the hell is going on? I tried to collect myself as best I could. I reached into my pocket to call the police. Phone's dead. Shit. Suddenly, I heard footsteps from behind me. I jumped up and spun around to see the most hideous thing I'd ever seen in my entire life. Looking for me?